Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Medina card to review today. Um, I like when EA releases these types of cards because if he gets any sort of upgrades, this is a cool card to get to link up to players like the Fofana card and the Klaus card because they play on the exact same team. So if I show you guys the strong links that we do have to work with when it comes to the Klaus card, you can see that Fofana is already one of the first one. You can go with the Argen Argentinian links. Uh, Di Maria, but that's a right wing, so it doesn't really matter. But then it's Klaus as the other one, right? So let's just say, for instance, you're lined up in like a 4-3-3 or something. That is something to consider when it comes to uh, this card in the game, right? But definitely going to need an upgrade on this card for sure because of the way that the acceleration is set up currently. But if he does get those upgrades, I can see him being a pretty solid center back. Now, with this card, he is left-footed with two-star, two-star capabilities. He's six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, but he has a stocky body type. So stocky body type is actually kind of nice to have in the defensive positions. The pace is more, okay, because here's the thing, right? You're most likely going to give him a shadow, right? But the pace is more for if you are playing, you know, aggressive tactics, like the 3 4 one, two tactics that I always show you guys, right? If you play with that tactic, it's always better to have players that feel more agile. You know, Team of the Year Kunde is a very, very good example of that. Um, this card lacks in acceleration, but if you're playing like the regular meta of the game where it's just a four at the back and you just work with that, I don't see it being terrible to work with as of right now, but he definitely needs that plus, I would say a four. I would say a four for that acceleration area because his base card stats for physical is set up really nicely on this card. He has no shooting capabilities. His passing is okay for a center back, but it's not necessarily a big deal. Uh, dribbling stats is set up okay as well. You know, the main things that I want to see what's what it's like in game is that six foot height with the medium, medium work rates and stocky body type. I want to see how good that is uh, defensively for this card. And we play the three at the back to kind of test all the capabilities of that acceleration stuff. But the sprint speed is at a 99 to be fair. So maybe it's just a matter of whether he's caught at a position, right? Uh, defensive stats with the shadow chemistry style will be close to perfect for everything except for defensive awareness at a medium, medium work rate. And then for physical stats, like I said, he is set up nicely where, you know, if he does get that upgrade in the future, the physical improvements could definitely be a very nice thing. So the way that we are going to be lined up with this card in game is going to be like... We're going to be lined up like this, guys. So we're going to use the 3412 as we normally do. Uh, and we're going to be playing him in the center back position. So with him being left footed... It's a card that you mainly want to use as a left center back in a four at the back formation, but it's good to test them out in a formation like this because it forces um, the animations out of the card because of the acceleration stuff. I need to see what that's like on him. Uh, Atal, I think Atal has the weak foot, so we can use the rest of the team as is. Yeah. Okay. Neymar instead of Mbappe at striker. We're going to do this. We're not going to really attack that much. We're going to give him the ball mostly, but... You guys get it. Uh, yeah, so the instructions will only be stay back while attacking, and we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Nice goal. We'll take that. Good stuff. So when it comes to his defending, he does have a little bit of a sway to him when it comes to the left and right. Did notice that a little bit. There we go. Let's set the acceleration here a little bit. Okay, good. So I wanted to overcommit that run right there to see how he would kind of track back afterwards. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'll trigger defense, good stuff. Okay, so that's a slide challenge. I can feel this little bit of um, a restriction for that initial acceleration, that agile feel to kind of push in there. So that's something that you do have to take into consideration. That wasn't too bad there. Good that we actually gave it away there to see uh, some of the movement. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine if I actually scored with him there? With like no shooting stats? The only way I was going to be able to do that is with a green, so... Good, magnetizes the ball there. I'll take that. Nice. We got a shot cancel there. That's why he dove in right away. Um, let me see if I can get a penalty here with him. 
Medina. His penalties is 52. We'll go down the middle. Yeah, I figured he'd go down the middle. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a reverse psychology thing, right? Like you switch the player, oh, he's probably going to go in the middle, you know? Look around switch. Yeah, see, the passing is like, that's it's not a big deal when the passing is low. You got you to do like very generic passes for the most part with your center backs. Yeah, the defending there, you just, you do feel that little bit of a lack of acceleration with him. Just a little bit, you know? When a card lacks in like a crazy agile feel, guys, it's not a terrible thing because most of the center backs in this game, they're not crazy agile, but the meta is to have those big physical guys for the most part, but that's just stuff that we test out, right? <laughs> Let's go, the free kick tactic. I think he just got rocked there in the defense too, but I wasn't controlling him to be fair. It was uh, Sergio Ramos instead. Yeah, I just wanted to hold the general area. I didn't switch to him until it felt like I had to. His marking was perfectly fine there, obviously. Yeah, restriction on the acceleration, but he did AI-wise go to the ball right away, which is good. See? That initial acceleration, you have to be careful of when you're actually using it. You can see that he doesn't have like this agile run to it, you know? I'll trigger defense. It's past that one, which is on me to be fair. Yeah, that's me actually controlling the runs perfectly there and actually going for a challenge. I didn't I didn't just uh, hold out the trigger there. Nice. That was just a regular block when I actually controlled them. I'll trigger again. Yeah, even it's just, that's just it. That's the only thing. It's that acceleration with that lack of agility because of the body type and dribbling, right? That's the part you feel the most, I would say. Controlled there, nice. Nice, uses his body type there. Again, see when you rely on just AI defending, like when I'm not actually manually using him, like that's gonna be perfectly fine. Yeah, so see, I control him, let go of him, he'll mark the place. He'll mark here, back in the middle here. Didn't get that one though. Yeah, AI is perfectly fine there, too. AI, AI, AI. Don't do nothing. That's him blocking it, see? That's what I'm saying, right? The physical guys in this game, they're just the most ideal because this game is really defensive AI oriented, right? So when you have the big physical guys, most of the times once you give them the right defensive stats, they perform pretty well, right? So... Let's see what he does here. So nothing here as well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> he just blocks it for being dead. <laughs> oh. oh, he got destroyed by Jonathan David behind him. Sheesh. Oh, I almost got the chip shot with him. No way, dude. This track back is pretty good. Let's not do anything again. Nothing here, nothing here. Marks the area he's supposed to mark. Okay. Yeah, see, it only becomes like a main problem when you're manually using him. Like, if you want to manually defend, that's where it gets a little bit annoying.
Yeah, not the craziest acceleration. I don't want him to like catch up to that though, to be fair. I mean, I do, but for the meta of the game, it's not necessary. There you go, make that pass. I don't want to do anything here. I don't want to do anything here. No AI animation there, but his marking is perfectly fine. Make the pass, nice. I'll trigger. There you go, see? It's all AI stuff, man. If I was manually using him, I, I wouldn't get that ball. I know for a fact I wouldn't. Oh, he saves me there, though. I'll take that. Mm, no AI stuff there for the interception. No block there either, but he does try. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Medina SBC. So, in regards to how he performs in game, guys, obviously for the meta of the game, if you're mostly going to be using a four at the back formation and you want a player to give you those links to players like Fofana and the Klaus card, then obviously, you know, the card's going to be decent as it is, right? Because of the fact that it's six foot tall, medium, medium work rate, stocky body type with really, really high defensive stats. That's all, that's always noticeable when it comes to these types of cards, right? Now, when it comes to play style, let's just say, for instance, I wanted to use this card in a three at the back formation, and I actually want to manually defend with him. Manual defending is not necessarily crazy fun with him, right? But manual defending is not necessarily meta in this game either, because as you guys can see in a lot of the situations in this game, when I let him just do his thing defensive AI wise, his tracking is good. The way that he occupies certain positions to block out certain shots is good. And that's literally the meta of the game is literally allowing it to, uh, to defend for you, right? So, uh, but for things that you will notice on the card right you'll notice the lack of acceleration on him for base card stats because that works uh with the six foot height stocky body type and dribbling stats as it is so that's where the manual defending part is a little bit off uh for that initial explosiveness right for you to move left and right really quickly to block out the areas but if you kind of just slowly move with him and you kind of just have an idea of where someone's going to pass you know because of the height and body type he'll actually defend really well sometimes right I do feel like that for upgrades, he needs a pace boost. He needs a dribbling boost as much as possible. Those are the two main things. The passing and stuff I don't care too much about, right? Because the physical is already a pretty decent area too. But even in the jumping, it would be nice too. Because I noticed that on two different occasions that you guys actually saw, uh, because of the six foot height stocky body type with 82 jumping, there was moments where people were able to out jump him regardless, right? Because the 82 jumping being really low. So... It's a card that, in my opinion, you have to bank on to get good upgrades or whether or not he actually gets the upgrade. But like I said, guys, if you want to have some fun on your team and you actually want to play with a card that's going to be good enough for the meta of the game and that gives you those links, then the SBC is going to be for you if you want those uh, uh, RC Lens links. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the team name right. Uh, but for the meta of the game, guys, like I said, he lacks in certain things, right? Acceleration, a little bit more of an agile feel. The other thing would be the work rates too. Obviously, it's always better to have medium high work rates. The high defensive work rate this year, I'm telling you, is just crazy. That's why like when players play in certain positions like left mid, right mid, CDM, uh, center back, that high defensive work rate is always super ideal. But you guys know, you know, if you guys ended up getting the Sergio Ramos card, for instance, like, you know, it doesn't, he does he lacks in the uh, super agile feel too because of the pace, right? But the card's still pretty good. Still a very solid card, but, I, you know, with his uh, work rates, he was a high medium, right? So he has that medium defensive work rate too. So it's not terrible to work with a person who's medium medium. It's not necessarily like a huge deal because you can see a lot of the times AI wise, he still played perfectly fine. So it's really not that big, big of a deal that he doesn't have the work rate. But if I'm gonna say the bad things on the card, like I said, it's going to be acceleration. It's going to be dribbling, working with the body type uh, and height, but this is being nitpicky because center backs are usually very physical oriented in this game and they're, they're AI oriented. So it's not a big deal. Um, and then obviously work rates at medium medium. It's always better to have medium high, but it's not a big deal because his AI is still perfectly fine. And then it's the 82 jumping, right? So like I said, it's a card that you have to bank on getting good upgrades. Hopefully he does. If he gets the good upgrades, you're still going to give him a shadow. So he's still probably going to be lacking in jumping from time to time, right? So just going to be one of those types of SBCs in my opinion. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.